The Bamaho Junior High School has a population of 231. The school is the major basic public school, serving Bamaho and the southwestern part of Wa, the Upper West Regional Capital. However, the school is in dire need of infrastructure as the existing ones are in a deplorable state. The situation has compelled authorities of the school to use these makeshift chairs to accommodate the growing population. This is the staff common room. The Parent Teacher Association, in a bid to mitigate the situation, initiated this two unit classroom block after several appeals to the government fell on deaf ears. <laughs> The classes, I give guy the classes, you know. You know, can 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 some part of my life in the Sometimes more than you can and wait here. Can be here to achieve a class. We have now. Can see how many people are coming. Can see how many people are coming. Can see how many people are coming. Can see how many people the headmaster of the school complained that the situation has increased the number of school dropouts in the school. The number of pupils that are transferred from this school to other schools in town is just unimaginable. Then at a point two, we got to realize that we were having increment in enrollment. Then we saw the need to put up these structures, as you have seen, three stairs, two being used as classrooms, and then this other one used as a staff common room. It was there and then that we called for a PTA meeting. They came and then they levied themselves. And then we started doing something. The Member of Parliament for War Central, in response to the situation, presented 15 packets of roofing sheets to the school. As it is, it pains your heart yeah. that children who are growing need to be taken care of, need to have conducive space for learning, are unable to secure those conditions, and you know their failure is then blame on them. It's unacceptable. So I think that it's a, it's a deplorable, it's regrettable, it's unacceptable. And I want to call on government, if they were sleeping, to wake up and do a comprehensive check on what is happening in our system. We have concentrated on free, free senior high, free senior high, and at the expense of the basic level of education, where need for intervention is completely lacking. And there's a need for us to turn attention to that. That is the reason why I brought these 15 packets of roofing sheets to enable us to roof the structure and to enable the next group of kids to be able to enter the classrooms and be able to learn is, is something we have seen to be uh, a very committed service to the people. Bamaho GHS has been suffering a lot because of lack of classrooms and uh, an intervention by themselves, supported by me, enabled us to build this structure and then roof it only with wood. And there is a need for us to have, uh, you know, adequate roofing sheets to complete the work on it. Uh, they, have, they came in their numbers to plead with me and to ask for me to support them. I told them, well, this is not something you will have to be pleading or or, or, or um, you know, requesting with fear that I might not be able to, I may not be willing to, because it's a commitment by myself, and especially it's my home. And so it's important that I should do something about it. Dr. Rashid Pelpu also visited the Wa Secondary Technical School, where he presented 58 chop boxes to students whose entire belongings got burnt in three separate fire incidents at the school. He also disbursed over 900,000 Ghana cities to needy students within the one municipality before presenting medicine and other medical logistics to the Sombo Health Center as part of his efforts to enhance the living standards of residents within the West Central constituency. Education is unsupported and uh, young people are not supported in their education enterprise. The result is that it has a negative effect on society. Knowing this, I have made education one of my cardinal policy areas so that 
as much as possible, I will invest in the education of my people. And so today, I'm going to present about 47 checks to individuals who apply to me for support. It is going to be added on to about 240,000 Ghana cities I already spent in supporting the payment of fees of our, 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 our young people who are seeking help. Reporting for City News, my name is Latif Mahama. Wow.